Hi, I'm Jake. And I'm Lindsay. And this is the Pope Family. I do this. People like when we do it. Like, it's so sad. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Pope Family. It's us. We should probably do that again. Okay. Cut. Cut. Wait. We say hey, everyone. No, you say hey, everyone. No, I don't want to say hey, everyone. Okay, I'll say hey, everyone. You say welcome back. Hey, everyone. Nope. Sorry. Hey, hey! Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Pope Family. She's so laughing. <laughs> I like just started it. Take 10. Today we're going to be talking about ways to prepare your child for a film TV audition, either or. Yeah. Because. Because uh, our little five-year-old Rosie, the little redhead, has her very first film audition tomorrow. So she was excited. One of the selected actresses for the for the final selection for the final selection to come in and do for this. a local movie. Uh, yes. Well, it's. It's a feature film that's being filmed locally. Yes. yes. So, hooray. So she's um, really excited. Yes. And she's... we're going... Sorry. No, no, no. Go ahead. Well, we're going to talk about ways that you can prepare your child and um, some tips on maybe if they don't get selected and, you know, what you can do to... And if you have other kids, tips on that too. Yeah. So, so they it. don't feel left out. All right. So let's get into it. Keep calm. Don't freak out. Don't freak out. Don't stress out. And don't go crazy. Yeah. So yeah. Rosalind has a, a tendency to just kind of like build up she so gets much energy. So and then, excited that yeah. she's just like because she's fine. Cartwheels and round offs and screaming <laughs> hooray and she's she laughs after every line. It's hilarious. It's funny. It's cute, but when she's in an audition she has to learn that she has to respect what the director what the casting so that's that's crew the next one does that's the next one. oh that's the next one yeah so the first one is keep calm uh don't stress and reassure your child that everything's going to be okay mm -hmm. and that they're going to do a good job and if they don't do a good job that it's not the end of the world two it's the end of the no. Number two. Respect the director, the casting director, whoever it is that's doing it. You know, let them know up front. Let them know ahead of time. Don't just send them in there to the director or the casting director and be like, all right, they're going to ask you questions to answer. You know? Yeah. Respect reminder. Remember yeah. why you're there, who brought you there. Um, and who, do what they tell you to do. Who the boss is. It's hard yeah. for kids to remember, oh, you know, mommy and daddy are the boss, but uh, who are the other bosses? Especially so. with kids who are already, who already feel like they are super creative. They will want to go in and create their own magical nightmare. <laughs> and they have to understand that <laughs> you have to go by the director's magical uh, nightmare. I just like the word nightmare. All it's right. fun. Number three. Three. Hmm. That is uh, control your energy and focus. And we already covered that one, apparently. So now we're going to move on to number four. Four. Which is... Nothing wrong my, with me. My list. No gross stuff. No gross stuff. <laughs> Coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> Top to the foot. <laughs> so Rosie has a tendency to think that this kind of stuff is hilarious because she's five and she has a preteen brother. Uh, <laughs> that doesn't help. But yeah, just let them know. You know, certain things that they kind of do. Picking your without, nose. Yeah. Don't. No. Picking your butt. Don't scratch at it. <laughs> be like, don't talk about peeps or poops. Or any other parts. Peeps, of poops, the body. or parts. <laughs> Keeps poops and farts. Keep them out of there. Answer questions that are asked to you. Like if they ask you what your favorite thing to do is, don't say poop. <laughs> okay. 
my What's, being real. What, where are my, they going to go with that? Where's the director going to be like, so you like to poop. Can you tell me about that? I poop. <laughs> oh my God. This is too much. Uh, see? See? It just goes off on a poopy no tangent. Cut <laughs> so avoid that. Um, number five. Uh, have know. fun. <laughs> have fun and learn from the experience. Yes, because it might not be your last audition. So remember what you did. If you didn't get in, it's okay. Use it as a learning experience to do better at the next one or to figure out how you could do the next audition differently to what, appease the casting director, I guess? Yeah. yeah. You know, impress is better. And, and, and just, you know, thanks. So six. Six. It is okay if you are not selected. It's okay. Maybe you weren't right for the part. Uh, maybe you messed up. The kids. Maybe. What are you gonna do? They're not adults. Right. I mean, I mean, like, if I mess up or if he messes up. No excuse. No, not really. I would, but, be but, mad. I would be pretty mad at myself. But a five-year-old, I mean, Kim. Kim. She should you have can. fun and then take it to another yeah. day to succeed that day. Right. Succeed that day. So number seven is really important. Seven. Don't showboat. Be, be humble. Sit down. Uh, yeah, and see, this is a big one for still filming, Rosie, yeah, it's still filming. and certain other energetic five year olds because they don't necessarily understand what it means to brag because they just know that they did something, somebody laughed, and they're like, haha, I did it, I'm gonna do it 500 more times, or just act crazy to keep it going. Oh, look, merch, and merch. um, yeah, you just kind of got to let them understand, help them understand that it's not something that is it's not, looked highly it's upon. Not, it's not appropriate to right. say, oh, I got this part, but you didn't. Um, you know, be humble about your accomplishments. Which kind of leads us into, into the eighth one. Eighth one about... One, two, three, four, five. Sesame Street. Eight. Sesame Street. Uh, don't... How do, you, how do you say this? Reassure your other children that they yes. are still talented and still important, even if their sibling got the opportunity, got a call back, got a part, you know, I make mean, sure that they know that they're still number you, one. You don't number have one. to sugarcoat it, but don't make it look like you're picking favorites, you know? <laughs> like, Alora, for example, she loves ballet. Rosy loves tap. So if Rosy doesn't get into something that's ballet related, she can't be mad because Alora is better at ballet. If Laura gets in, she doesn't, whatever. And you can always switch. Sometimes one kid is perfect for one role and another kid's perfect for another role and you roll, roll, roll. <laughs> and you just never know. <laughs> so Roz has been um, pre-selected for multiple auditions this year. And red hair. Could be the red hair, it could be her age, it could be the fact that she looks younger than she is and she's more mature, so therefore they're going to automatically say, well, this child knows what they're doing, and so they fit what we need for the role. I can't talk. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it could be because anytime you put her on camera or because you put her in front of an audience, she literally just explodes craziness and just makes everybody want to Love watch her. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's going to be stuck in her head now. We're such good parents. I'm going to be singing while I sleep. Such good parents. She'll record it. So yeah, make sure that they know what's going on and that it's all there's always next time if they get chosen. And then sometimes also let them know that if like if Rozzy got in a movie, that opens up possibilities for the sibling as well in the future, possibly. So I mean like there's always there's always some way like I said, don't sugarcoat it, don't give a child false hope. If your child, other child's not talented in acting or performing or Obviously anything else. Obviously they have another talent, they, something else. The child has to have another talent, you know, embrace that and, and, and go with that. You know, they don't have to be a movie star or they don't have to be a famous dancer. They don't have to be, 
I don't know, Jimmy the Fish. I, <laughs> I forgot what nine was. I had I had something I forgot. Number nine. Um, what do you do with the money that they receive? You spend it. <laughs> you should teach them. Uh, I mean, like obviously, if you really need the money for bills. Whatever, just yes. use it, use it, yes. you know, but usually you'll get per diem and then, you know. Invest it back cut. in yeah. the child. Into the child. I, I think you should either put a small amount aside, like 30% aside, invest the rest of it back into your child. Yeah, things to help them, Wardrobe other auditions, uh, taking them to set or doing whatever you have to do to make it easier for you and them. And make sure that you make sure that you tell them that you know you're proud of them, and maybe buy them something as a reward because you know if they think they're not getting any of their money, that's also yeah. not going to go if they don't, well. Don't pull a Macaulay Culkin's parents. Right. Don't just take all their stuff. It's not not cool, for your bro. <laughs> I mean, like, don't let them go out and just like buy whatever they want for like a day. Be like, okay, kids, let's go splurge <laughs> on everything. <laughs> just like run down the aisle. And... <laughs> Luckily, you can't like do that Jojo, anymore. Buying because, all my merch. <laughs> right? Luckily, you can't do that a whole lot anymore because the, there's no Toys R Us, so that's gone. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so just like you know, let them go buy a toy that they have wanted for a long time, or let make them, sure that they know that it's because they work for it and they earn the money, and that's why. Yeah. Number ten. See. Merch. 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 That you know, seriously you know, was number 10. That was. It was merch. Because, because merch? See, you, I love my pole family. Yes. And not just this pole family, but our whole pole family. Our whole pole family. Whoa. So if you guys have any um, any other info on you know what you do with your kids or what you do as an adult to prepare for an audition, comments. yeah, comment below because I would like to know, he would like to know, we'd all yeah. like to know. And... Um, um, like i'm tired subscribe <laughs> hit the buttons Kids, we'll i'm gonna put it right it. here put it right here and i'm gonna be like subscribe check out our other videos move my face so i have room for the end screen and we're pretty attractive we should have more kids hold on, on. what'd you say about showboating ah. all right guys we got stuff to do <laughs> See you next time. Catch you later. Subscribe. Woo. For ridiculous stuff. <laughs>